Now, what does it mean that we've wired this up with a pseudo ground setting? You'll notice when there's no load on the load cell, we're getting an output that's close to two and a half volts. And that's because we've plugged our pseudo ground connection into the two and a half volt source. So our output is going up and down around two and a half volts. So if the input was exactly zero millivolts, then our output here would be two and a half volts. If it was larger positive, it would go up. If it was larger negative, it would go down. So let's look at the output. There we are at 2.38. If I increase the tension, the voltage goes up. If I compress, the voltage goes down. And the center of the range is the pseudo ground value at 2.5 volts. That's because I chose pin 14. If I plug this lead instead into pin 13, which has a precision voltage of 1.23 volts, then I'll be going up and down around a lower pseudo ground voltage. So where I had a little under 2.5 before, I now have a little bit under that 1.23 value. I go up from there. So I have a larger potential positive range, or I go down into this lower output value, but I don't have as big a range before I would come down and start to approach zero. So the pseudo ground, by changing this connection from say pin 13 to pin 14, I can change the reference voltage of the output, but the gain will remain the same. The amount of voltage change remains the same. It's just the size of the offset that represents zero. So that's the concept of using a pseudo ground with what's called a single sided power supply. That's where we have ground, a zero voltage, and plus five as the supply to our amplifier. So we're restricted to a range of outputs that's somewhere between zero and plus five.